Hello everybody, this is Brittany from Key World Studios and today I'm going to show you a cool technique today of how to create your buttons on your store page and you can actually create a store page, a free store page on your website without paying a monthly fee and you can also use your own style of buttons. You don't have to use a standard button to uh, place on your website. And I'm going to show you all of that today. All right. So the first thing that I want to show you is the store page and how I use the store. So what I do is I just create a standard page. I don't add uh, a, the standard product page as you would say, the quote unquote product page, I just add a simple page on the website and I title it store. Okay. So now you have your store page. You're going to click on the store. Once you have all of your products listed on here, now you're going to add your buttons. Okay. Now what I do is I use PayPal buttons on my store page. And as you can see, I'm going to click on one of these buttons here. Okay, it's going to send me to PayPal. And the shipping fee is included. And here you have your store page. Now, this is where the customers are going to be linked to. So you don't necessarily have to have the standard PayPal button on the store page. You can actually have your own style of button. You can use any image that you like or you can use uh, the button that is provided from your web hoster. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to place your buttons on the website and how to link it to the PayPal store page, okay, or the PayPal site. So the first thing that you want to do, of course, if you don't already have a PayPal account, you want to create a PayPal account. PayPal is a trusted site and it is recommended for a lot of businesses and a lot of customers. So I choose PayPal and I'm already logged into PayPal. So what I'm going to do is take you to the next step. So once you set up your business account, you're going to go ahead and go to profile. And then you're going to click on your business name. You're going to click on my selling tools. And then you're going to click on the first update link. Now, as you can see, I have all of the buttons listed here and I can simply create a new button or I can create a similar button from one of the former buttons that I've created. So I'm going to show you from scratch of how to create a new button. So here you have the standard PayPal button. You have the add to cart. You can also use the buy now button and you can also remove the credit card images. So you can click down here customize text or appearance and unclick display credit card logos. If you don't want the logos displayed under the buy now button, you can also add donations, subscriptions, automatic billing, installment plan. So what I use is shopping cart. So here you have the PayPal button. Let's show you the PayPal button first, um, just to give you the standard way of using the PayPal button. I'm going to type in new item as my item name, or let's, let's come up with an interesting name. Let's come up with, um, I love music. Okay. Now I have the, I love music as my title and I'm going to list the number. So I'm just going to type in, 001 as an item number because you always want to make sure you keep track of all of your products on your site so you won't be confused on which product you're uh, searching for or what the customer searching for 
And if you want to be more specific, especially if your product has colors on it, you want to make sure that you add the color. So let's say I love music red button pin. Okay. Or I love music red. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is set the price. So I can set it at $2. Okay. All right. Now I live in the U S so of course my currency is going to be USD. If you live in another country, your US, your currency will be a different country. Okay. And I'm going to scroll down here. Now, if your product is included, is including the shipping and there's no way for you to offer free shipping, then what you can do, you're going to add your shipping price right at this section right here. Use specific amount. I'm going to say $6. Okay. Now, this only applies to you if you're using a flat rate shipping fee. You do not want to place your shipping price on the shipping amount if it's not a flat rate shipping. So what I mean by that is if a customer buys, whether they buy one product or like say one button pin or a thousand button pins, the same shipping fee would be six dollars that's the flat rate shipping fee now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here you can use the tax rate you can add your tax or you can leave it blank it's up to you i'm going to do no tax and i'm going to do a flat rate shipping of six dollars now the second step is really up to you of how you want to keep track of your product um, my product is pretty simple, so I don't necessarily have to do much on this step, okay? But there are some options for you if you want to track your inventory or if you want to track your profit and losses. This step is for you, okay? Now, I'm going to go to the next step, step three, and it's just giving you more information of, of how you want to present your product to the customer. So if you're first starting out, you want to keep it as simple as possible. You don't want to add too many things on your button to where you and the customer is confused. You want to make sure that everything is simple. The main thing that you want is your customer to purchase your product from you. That's it. Okay. You want to make sure everything is accurate. The titles, the, pro the, the prices and everything is accurate in order for the customer to buy your product. That is the main goal, okay? It will ask you, do you need your, your customer shipping address? Um, I would say yes, if you're shipping a product to a customer, I would definitely say yes, because you wanna make sure that you're shipping to the right address. You wanna ship to the accurate address, okay? So this is an automatic check uh, on a yes, so I will leave it there and I'm going to create my button. All right, now what you want to do is if you want to use the regular ads cart, then you use the website tab. Okay, this is the, the first option that PayPal will, will provide you. They will provide you the website code and you're going to click on it once and it'll highlight the entire section. And if you have a Mac, you can just type in command C, or if you have a PC, you want to copy and paste your, your code. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the site. So I've already copied my code and this is if I want my button to look like this. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the site and go back to my store page. All right, now at the bottom, I'm actually going to place it in the middle section. So I'm going to place it 
right here. So what you want to do, if you have a Weebly, this is perfect for you because this is a step-by-step -step instruction of how to place your button on your site, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag the embed code and I'm going to click on the HTML and I'm gonna center it Click on edit custom HTML and I'm going to paste the code on the site. Now it is placed where it needs to be. Okay, if I had an, an uh, image, if I had an image on top of this product, this would be on top of the product. Now, what you can also do is you can click on the add to cart and you can type in the very first part of your section. You can type in your price if you want to look like this. And it'll have the $2 on top of the add to cart. And this is optional. You don't have to do that. Uh, just showing you a new way or another way to add that to your button. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna publish this site and then I'm gonna go back to the store page. Okay, so let's go back to the store page. Now, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, make sure that my button is active and I have my I Love Music Red product on here. Now, once again, the flat rate shipping is $6. So if a customer buys 100 of these pins, the shipping fee will still be $6. It will always be $6. So even if they purchase 1,000, the shipping fee is $6. That's a flat rate shipping fee, okay? Now I'm gonna remove this product. And now I'm gonna show you how you can use your button on your site without using the PayPal button. Now you're still using the PayPal code, but the button will look a little different, <laughs> if not completely different from the PayPal button because you want to have a refreshing look on your page. So this button kind of, it, it, looks, it looks pretty good, but if your site has different colors and it doesn't match the color of this button, you don't necessarily want this button on your page. All right, so I'm gonna X this out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use an actual button from my Weebly site and I'm gonna place it on my page. Now you can also use an image, it will activate just as well as a regular button, okay? So I'm gonna type in $2. And I'm going to, I'm gonna place a text here. I'm just gonna place a simple text that says, I love music red, okay? Now, I'm going to use the same button that I showed you on the PayPal site. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back to the PayPal. Now, instead of using the website code, I'm going to click on email, okay? Now, once you click on email, you're going to copy this code and you're gonna place it here, okay? So what you're gonna do is button style, I'm gonna go down to link, okay? Website URL, and I'm gonna simply, I'm simply going to paste this code and publish it.
and let's test it. So let's refresh this page. And let's scroll down to the bottom. Click on it. And there you have it. It is sent to the exact same page with a different button look, okay? You can have any image of your button on this site. You don't necessarily have to use the standard button from PayPal or the standard button from your web hoster. You can actually use an image, an actual image, and place it at the bottom of your product and make your sales from that payment button, all right? So I hope this helped you guys today. I hope this helped someone. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to create a store page. So I hope this really helped you guys out. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.